A trip to the emergency room can really rack up quite the tab, especially if you don't have health insurance. Tonight, two works for you. Problem solver Aaron Conrad is looking at ways to pay when you're slapped with a big medical bill that you can't afford. A mailbox full of high dollar medical bills isn't uncommon after a visit to the emergency room, but that doesn't make paying them any easier. Keeps me from doing certain things. Hilda McGowan spent the start of August in a Tulsa ER. So I came in with the diagnosis of abdominal pain and I left with the same thing. After her visit, what she did get was sticker shock. They took a blood test and they sent it in, which was like 700 something dollars for a blood test. I'm like, seriously, people? Plus, I got an extra bill from that test place for the blood. McGowan doesn't have insurance and told the hospital that. She said she thought that would mean her bill would be affordable, but she says that definitely hasn't been the case. I was like, how many more bills? I was scared to go to the mailbox and open it because it's like more bills, more bills, more bills coming in. In total, McGowan owes more than $8,000. In fact, her CT scan alone costs nearly $4,000. On top of an emergency room bill, pharmacy bill, lab bills, doctor's fees, and so on. She says right now she just can't afford it. Because my income right now is like COVID damaged. If you find yourself in a similar situation, here's what you can do. Ask for an itemized list of charges and check for any errors. Seek payment assistance programs, especially if you are low income or disabled. And before you head to the hospital, if you can, do your research. Shop around to find the best deals before you go. If you do have insurance, understand what it does and doesn't cover. You can also try negotiating the cost ahead of time or offer to pay up front for a discount. And finally, if all else fails, work with the provider on a payment plan you can reasonably afford. McGowan has already paid 1600 of her bill and is now looking into her options before she pays another cent. We also reached out to the Community Service Council of Tulsa. They tell us if your income has been impacted by COVID-19 and you get slapped with a big medical bill, you can call 211 and explain your situation to a caseworker to find out if you qualify for assistance through its programs. Erin Conrad, two works for you.